A fire destroyed the home of the Samosa family in Cotton Tree Village on New Year's Day. The fire reportedly started around 1 that afternoon. The occupants were at another property in the village. Only one family member was outside in the yard when he saw flames inside the house. Today, Diana Samosa says it was an electrical fire. The fireman says that the fires were the electric the electric wires were too thin and they we had too much we had a freezer connected and a refri and a the fridge connected and too much things are connected. Before this, you guys didn't notice any little spark, any smoke, nothing at all. The, the wires didn't give an indication before. Well, actually, um, we have um, we may have internet here, and the box about two times went wrong. And then I, this the first, the thirty first, I called the um, box again because it gave me trouble, and they say maybe it's an electrical problem, but I didn't pay attention. The family lost almost everything except for two appliances that they managed to save before the fire destroyed their home. The Samosas say that their life's savings built this house 10 years ago and that they've lived here ever since. 11 persons resided here, four adults and seven children. Well, actually, I don't know the value because two families live here, me and my husband, my mom and her husband. We lost everything inside, microwaves, beds, our rooftop, everything. According to the family, the fire tore through the house quickly, but with their neighbors' help, they contained it. We all out of the fire. We had some neighbors helping. We had other neighbors standing and watching. But we mostly got help. Thanks to our neighbors, we got help. We could have been out of the fire. Why the fire department come? We don't we can have the fire under control. They just came to help and out it off. Of. We out the fire in time. Where else she would have stayed with our house too, because she just trying to make her house too. But everything in there was mine and her store and um, so um, her her closet and, and everything in there, uh -huh. the clothes. And now the family needs roofing materials to rebuild from this fire. Today, they're most thankful that no one was hurt. The bad New Year's were gone. Bad luck. Mm -hmm. It could have be worse. I got my kids. My kids, my daughter is one, my son is two. If they would have kept get chopped in the fire, I don't know. I thought my kids were inside, so I just jumped into the fire. My husband grabbed me and pulled me out. Then he told me the kids are not there. I thank God nothing bad happened to the kids, so I tell her don't worry about it. Material thing, but right now we really need assistance on the roof. So. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.